Hi guys, I'm back today with another Loot Crate Harry Potter unboxing. This is the J.K. Rowling's Wizarding World, The Spellbinding World of Harry Potter and Fantastic Beasts. So if you've seen my last video, um, I was incredibly disappointed with the box. There was only four items in it, you can go and check it out, I'll link it. and. Um, from what I could gather from online and that, everyone was extremely upset about this. Sorry if you hear any noise. Merle's walking around. Aren't you, Merle? Come up here, look. Come Did you fart? <laughs> you did. A <laughs> weird little stream of farts coming out of you. Hi, Merle. Now, Merle's tipping around, so. Excuse the noise and the sneezes. But um, yeah, I looked online and I saw that everyone was extremely annoyed about this as well as me. But um, you see, it everyone got their box like a month before I did. So I had kind of all died down by the time I was looking it up. But um, Steve did purchase this for me. He purchased um, a year long one, which is six boxes, I think, is it? Six boxes. And um, so he contacted them to let them know about how disappointed we were with it. And to be honest with you, the customer service is not the best, it's not great. They just have kind of the same copy and paste answer of them trying to have more quality items rather than the amount, the quantity, and it... I don't agree with that at all. I don't think those four items were of quality at all. They were very cheap items. Um, no matter what they say, they were very cheap. So, last the last box we got, this was the size of it. It was this size, like look at this, this tiny box. And this box is a bit bigger, but definitely not as big as the past boxes. So I'm not happy about that at all. Plus it's very banged up. I know it's not their fault, but it is really, really banged up a lot. Um, it's just starting to fall apart. Um, I forget what the team of this one is, but there's a Hogwarts sticker on the front of it. The enchanting Essentials, I think. Enchanting Essentials, we think. So I'm going to open it now. Oh, this is difficult. So I'm going to do it like blindly. I'm just going to put it down here and take out whatever. Okay, I feel a t-shirt on the top. I'm going to put that aside and look at it at the end. There's something here. This is some kind of... Oh, it's notebooks. A set of notebooks. Harry Potter ones. And four different designs. I'm gonna open them now. I might as well go along here. I think they're all the houses. So they're a set of four notebooks. I thought they were the houses, but I don't think they are. They just have different things set on them. So this one, it just says Harry Potter with the keys, the flying keys, in um, the first book, Fossil Stone. And then this says happiness can be found even in the darkest of times. If only one remembers to turn on the light, that is a quote from um, Prisoner of Azkaban film. Always, I think that's Lillian Snape. And then this is just all the different um, logos on it. So they are lined inside, but like you can get these kind of things now in pennies, um, which is Primark, very, very easily. So I highly doubt they were very expensive. Yeah, I'm going to be very mean this time around. Okay, there's definitely some kind of a book or something in it. Is it a whole thing? It's a whole book. Oh, it's a scrapbook. Newt Scamander's a movie scrapbook. Okay, this is weird. Learn all about Newt and the incredible film from J.K. Rowling, where there's more of fancy place and where to find them. Okay. Oh, it's like, is there stuff in it already? Oh yeah, there's like stuff in it already that you must like pull out. There's like little things. And then like, must be the stories of the film, all the different characters and places maybe. Um, The last book that we got was a kind of I don't want it, but a crappier version basically of a bigger book. So I do wonder, oh, there's oh, a muffler. I do wonder if, hang on, this is stuck together. 
if this is already a book and they got like a version of it for it's a gift shop book is it it looks like it you go to the wizarding world place or theme park or something you go to the gift shop i'd say that's what you find it, it says candlewick press i don't know what where that is i can't get this thing off um at the moment to look at more it needs to come off to see what's in it behind it but it says written by rick barbara so look we'll look at the end um and we'll see what that's all about okay this is a sign wizards welcome muggles tolerated oh wait there's both wizards at work no muggles allowed okay so i guess you switch it whatever way so this is just like a piece of wood that's all it is with the design on it and a bit of string you can get things like this in etsy very easily i think i do like it you can kind of put it up outside maybe your door or that and be like you're not allowed to come in <laughs> um wizardry oh wizardry at work it doesn't say wizards at work that's kind of nice um this is a magnet this is a Ravenclaw magnet. This is extremely cheap. I can know by the feeling of it. It's really thin. Um, and it's just, it's one of those flexible magnets. It's a Ravenclaw magnet. I don't have a Ravenclaw one. Um, and there's just like a very simple design on it. Um, is this the pin? Oh, okay. We must have got all the Horcruxes, so. Um, I missed some of the first boxes so i don't think i got those ones but anyway this pin this pin is broken <laughs> wonderful it's broken um and it's just of a little dough that's it um i'm not happy with this at all because it's just a little like it's just it's just a deer a little dough and you can't really tell that it's from harry potter at all and it's broken so yeah just to show you guys can they see it's broken and uh, you can this is completely smashed and that's what the idiots get for putting the bottom of the fucking box um okay leave that there is that it yeah okay <laughs> this was total shit okay i forgot about the the shirt okay the shirt it says loot crate exclusive and uh, it just says Hogwarts School of Witchcraft, Witchcraft, Witchcraft and Wizardry and has the logo on it, the Hogwarts logo just in black and white. That is an extremely simple shirt. Again, Primark pennies have loads of these. I will wear it, obviously, but... Pennies have better ones. Pennies have better ones. This is total shit. I am absolutely... None of that, none of them were quality items. None, none of them were quality quality items and none of them are essentials are they okay enchanting essentials a new year calls for a new wizard in gear whether brushing up on your famous witches and witches wi witches and wizards or finishing up another year at hogwarts this crate brings you useful items from across the wizarding world to prepare you for anything that might come your way this month's magical loot that looks very black What's useful about a shitty magnet okay let's just let me read hogwarts crest t-shirt um that's all it says really about it it's just about like wearing it and going out or whatever yeah okay the newt scamander scrapbook learn more about life and adventures of famed awe or new in this scrapbook for fantastic beasts and where to find them filled with pull out artifacts and other explorables it doesn't have the star beside it so that makes me think it is something you can probably buy i'm going to have a look that up as soon as i can to see if there's other versions of it um three four pack wizarding journals that i actually i should have been holding these up the shirt the book thing um this is interesting like it is actually does have a nice outside and stuff and it is hardback um but it doesn't have many pages and it you know i i don't know i think you can probably buy that in a gift shop or something like steve said the four pack wizarding journals very very easily get the likes of this in Primark or anywhere like that or online for so cheap like what would we say in three euro for like that like very cheap there's nothing probably overly too. amazing about them at all um that one's actually tour I just realized um double-sided wizardry sign 
Um, yeah, so it's basically they're saying here to let you know when let your the muggles know when you're working or whatever. This is nice, like I like it, but again, that's very like it's cheap. It's not very difficult to get something like that places, you know. So with especially Harry Potter signs, you can get them all over Etsy because I know you can get like loads of like Halloween ones and stuff like that. I've looked before. Hogwarts house magnet. Um, I don't really understand. Showing off your house pride. That's all it says, really. Um, the Patronus pin. We're taking a break from our Horcrux pin series to offer you this essential protective charm. The Doe Patronus shared by Lily Potter and Severus Snape. Okay. They're taking a break from the pins. The Horcrux pins. So did we get them all? We probably didn't. Yeah. This just seems like a filler thing of... But you know what it is? Nothing very special. Everybody complained only four items in their last one. So this time they're putting four items and then threw in a shitty pin and a useless magnet. To be like, oh, there's six now. That's exactly what they did. That is exactly what they did. I am extremely it. disappointed with this. We have cancelled. I have cancelled because... There's one more I, There's no way... Like, this is 40 euro, right? For a box. 44. For a t-shirt. 44 euro for a t-shirt... Like that's that is not 44 euro for all of those items. Absolutely not a chance in hell Is that like I don't know how they've managed this in the last box It was four items that definitely couldn't make it up But now they actually have more items and this seems cheaper than the fucking last one say Why does it seem cheaper? They told me to put less items in but a better value of higher value So I asked them like well, can you send me the individual price of each, each item and they said oh no they're all made up in the crate and I said well how can you prove that they're make up the $65 value if you don't have an individual price and they haven't replied to me if this box was 20 euro I would be delighted with this box yeah. if it was 20 euro I'd be like I'd be happy happy days I'd be like I'd be delighted but fucking 44 euro for this oh. and the fact that they say that it's worth 65 plus they say that on their website that a, a box is worth 65 plus all of the items in it there is not a chance that all of these items are 65 dollars worth like are you joking me i don't even i don't even want to bother having to take close-ups for this or anything because i'm just so annoyed with it and i don't think i will i think we've seen everything i just go i go through everything really quickly here and just to show you but i'm not gonna get i'm not gonna bother doing close-ups because i'm i'm just i'm that annoyed right this t-shirt it does feel it feels really nice but it just has that simple logo definitely pennies have tons like pennies have these everywhere and get you can get nicer ones that little pin is in shite just let me know if it's focusing little pin like that's not harry potter do you know what i mean if it had been silver because the fucking patronuses are silver they're not fucking gold either the magnet which i will stick on my fridge but like i mean what a euro is it a euro worth yes. even the picture on it isn't even that great of quality is that focusing like it's not um you know the image of that isn't very nice is it it's just another gift shop thing the sign which i i will put up because i do like what it says on it but it is just a plank of wood can you see and it's just got this lousy bit of string which actually i don't know if that will hold up it is coming apart i will probably maybe put my own string on it and it's just stapled on <sighs> These are shite. Like, I mean, I'll use them for writing and things, but like, there's nothing m amazing about them. You can get them in pennies. It's, it's, it's all just stuff you get in the gift shop. And then okay. this, like, like it, it's interesting. I wish I could take this off, hang on. I just feel like this book, you can probably get it online. I'm gonna look that up, but um, there is a little niffler on it but like i say this is the kind of thing that you kind of read and go through once and then that's that'll be about it well if it you just read the back of this it says jk rowling and warner Bros. entertainment inc publishing rights so it's a book you get at the you go to the team park thing and that's yeah what you get and that's it 
right there's cards of the characters like yeah I just feel like do I feel like they were like nearly every film releases things like this nearly like those al al almanacs almanacs whatever they're called you know like from back to the future too like from back to the future too but yeah um i'll just show some pages is that in focus like some pages don't have anything at all like on them like to move or do anything with I'm really, I'm really not happen, happen, happened. I'm really not happy. That is sickening. I, I just think that that is an incredibly cheap box. I will be going online. I will be complaining, um, because this is just not good enough at all. And uh, yeah, tell me what you think. Surely you think that that was really bad and definitely not worth forty four euro or have the price tag of sixty five plus dollars. I'm gonna go now and be annoyed. Talk to you guys in my next video. Bye. Nice. It was so shit. It was really shit.